Hello masters. Today uh, I'm going to show you um, the pros and the contrasts of using Renderman on Blender and I will do a starter tutorial about it. And yeah, if you want to to use this uh, render engine on, on Blender, you need to know uh, what are their pros and their cons. And one of the pros um, is that Renderman has a complex shaders with great quality. Uh, it has also uh, the XPU engine on non-commercial, this on the Renderman 25 version, uh, which can allow you to use uh, GPU and CPU at the same time, uh, having um, render times lower than expected, not the same as cycles, but uh, too similar. Uh, it also has a powerful eye denoiser, um, and I think that it's better than the denoiser of uh, cycles. It also has uh, tons of presets and shaders that you can use it. Uh, well, you can see it here that it has an insane amount of uh, presets about far uh, hair, um, particles, uh, it has uh, materials also, and that's a good way uh, to work fast, more fast. And it also has a support from the best. Uh, Renderman has a, an open Discord server, which there are uh, um, engineers that will help you uh, to guide uh, uh, if you have problems or other kind of things on Blender. And it also has a high render quality. Yeah, Renderman is um, known by its quality. Uh, it has uh, obviously more quality than Cycles and, and better shaders. Uh, but on the other hand, it has also uh, their cons. Um, one of the problems is that it's not fully supported in Blender. Um, because Renderman is an engine that it was uh, more supported uh, first on Maya and Blender is also constant uh, giving us um, updates and that makes uh, more bugs uh, that's one of the another reasons of the cons of Renderman on Blender that it's more buggy than Cycles uh, it's also more complex and less intuitive and it has uh, more shaders features and nodes and yeah uh, it has also less information and tutorials if you find on youtube there are not so many tutorials about renderman and less made on blender and that's one one of the pros and the cons and now well, we'll show you uh a tutorial about this character I've made and how to set up uh, also Renderman here in Blender and we are going to put the material of these leaves so first of all we are going to set the the Renderman if you go here you can go to add-ons and install and install the Renderman and if you want to work with uh, as I said XPU uh, you will if you have a great uh, GPU, um, you must use G uh, XPU because you will render faster. And here on this um, button, you will go and put GPU and your uh, graphic card. All right, and you can also uh, activate optics denoiser for the viewport. I always use it because. It looks better on the viewport and then on display you can render to the blender render or the IT which is the renderman renderer and this is uh, if you want to render the IOVs um, after you have made the character uh, well you, you also have it here if you want to put IOVs uh, once um, you finish the character and you want it to export to Nuke or other Compose um, software, you go here, you add uh, IOVs and always an OpenXR, 
you put the camera you want to render from uh, then activate the noise and you add here the channels you want um, to export okay so now we will go um, I will explain there is uh, Renderman has more than one shader it has the uh, the pixel with the pixel surface which is that this it also has the pixel uh, Disney uh, which is more similar to cycles um, but it's um, I think it's outdated uh, as I s have seen on, on the forums and I recommend not to use it if you are struggling with the pixel surface we, uh, because it's more complex you can use it but I don't recommend it this also the the llama uh, pixel llama I think wait pixel wait I don't have it here uh, add render man yeah well you can see it here all the shaders uh, llama it's um, I think it's the most uh, the difficult the difficult one uh, you also have the pixel Disney BSDF this is more similar to cycles uh, you can see it here you have the metallic well yeah it's almost the same um, but for this we will use the pixel surface which is the more advanced and you can see here that uh, well the cycles of uh, 4.0 uh, version it's like this you can activate and deactivate I think and one thing we will do is uh, that we will put the diffuse channel which is the color uh, the albedo um, the specular which is the the roughness the subsurface and the uh, and I think that's all we will also here we have um, different specifications we will use physical which is uh, more advanced uh, and know, here subsurface subsurface you also have uh, different options but you need to know that in XPU version and um, you couldn't use uh, for the render it's not implemented uh, okay so we will start with the diffuse channel okay which is the you uh, will use pixel texture um, you can use it for for all the channels the roughness the normal well no the normal is pixel normal sorry and the displacement also wait pixel pixel displace and pixel wait I have it here pixel transform pixel transform okay and well displacement it's um, it's similar to all render engines to Arnold or cycles and we will use it that pixel texture as the uh, diffuse channel we will find it here uh, leaves diffuse color and the RGB for the diffuse channel will go to the diffuse color okay uh, that's that it's uh, similar to cycles um, here we will use the um, specular roughness if specular roughness okay for the specular roughness I will use wait I don't remember because I did this a few months ago <laughs> uh, specular roughness is that okay pixel to float pixel remap okay one of the things I like uh, of using renderman is that you have a um, lot of nodes uh, that you can tweak uh, very well uh, your maps 
one of them is the picture remap and that's one of the things I like uh, we'll put RGB here the result to specular uh, okay wait because this is uh, um, little hard <laughs> because you need to put um, the roughness to the primary specular roughness and then uh, tweak these values as you can see here wait because I don't exactly remember what I did uh, my specular ah the rough specular I did put okay wait my specular uh, wait okay this we need to set it to G, uh, to white these values and add the the specular the primary specular is here okay zero and okay let's add now the pixar normal map you can see here up wait pixar normal map okay and this is to bump I don't know if it's the N or the NG I think it's N yeah it's N um, to bump okay let's see how it's doing okay okay the displacement it's uh, I think yeah this um, in my case uh, this object doesn't have displacement so I will destroy it okay let's see uh, the normal is not working good. Ah, yeah, I need to put here the normal map. Um, leaves normal here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Now it's working good. okay so w one of the things um, you need to know uh, is that it's not that difficult if you know uh, well you could see that the picture surface it's extremely uh, has a, a lot of um, parameters uh, but you need to focus on the important ones like the diffuse color the bump uh, the specular roughness and the displacement um, which is similar to to other uh, render engines and one of the things to put the displacement because it's one of the uh, difficulties things it's um, by putting here the uh, display transform pixel display transform and then, and then the pixel displays um, instead of uh, changing the values of pixel displays you need to change it here on the picture display transform and you will get the the values and the default values of the textures you exported from substance or from other programs and the same with the other things I guess uh, well the uh, specular roughness if you want the default values from the substance um, you can use the picture to float and uh, a pixel remap this set uh, with that with that values I think that they are the default values and then um, tweak uh, this the specular edge uh, to white and the coefficient to white also 
and with that you will get the default values from substance and that's it I think if you want it to render now you can use it as, as I said before the render engine from Blender or the render from uh, Renderman I will use it the Renderman and you will see what it does and it would appear a new uh, well you can allow it and now it will appear here another well this is with that color because of the color management uh, don't worry um, uh, as you could see it is rendering here on the IT I prefer rendering it here because uh, you can use the ID noiser from Renderman uh, with the N if you press N once the render finishes uh, as you can see here this is the ID noiser and I think it works very well so that's it I hope you like it uh, this small tutorial if you wanna know more about Renderman uh, let me know in the comments and I will make uh, more tutorials or more specific and thank you for watching see you in the next video bye